Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people so believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach as well. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Mr. Tenacious. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fault. A lot of the UFC's best is Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship in the world. I got that honor. And I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. The greatest heavyweight fighter ever stepped foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to do that tournament. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He 
changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping every time. Oh, nice jab. Nice one-two there. What a punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice body kick. That's a miss. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Let's focus, let's focus Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good is that right hand. Beautiful kick. All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Oh, nice counter jab there. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Going back to the body work now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, some really cooling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, what a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And a nice left hand there on the inside. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Just missed with the left there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Wow! He's hurt. Throws him up. Oh, crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, You've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to spin. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's showing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice punch there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. 
Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. All right, single collar tie now. Big call punch land. That was exactly right. Avoid that left. Blocks the shot. Unable to connect with the right hand. Now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Out of range with that one. Very tricky when he throws that body. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' minds. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Less than one in boxing, but hands up, chin down. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That's a big strike right there. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Clean with the right hook. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. the takedown, no problem. Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer in there. Punch over the top. Big elbow there, Lance. Seconds to go in round two. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Huge liver kick! That might do it! strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win so there he is as the celebration continues a huge knockout for him here tonight that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by a count, the All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.